All right, so let's look at how to make our residuals plot. So that residuals are the leftover distance between your observation, so where the dot or the point is, and the value that you would get from the equation of the line. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna go over to the data ribbon. So you click on data. And remember at the beginning of the semester, you were all to download the data analysis and solver packages. So if, you, if they aren't there, you need to go back to Canvas and there are directions in the pages on how to download those. But we're gonna use data analysis. And then once we click on that, it gives us a whole menu of choices. And this chapter is called regression. So that's the one we're gonna use. So if I double click that regression choice, I get this menu box. Then notice that it says input the Y range first. So we need to highlight the Y values, which are the number of cans or that quantity sold. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight those and it'll automatically put the cell values in there. And then the second box right below it wants the X values. So I'm gonna highlight these temperature values. You think that's probably the trickiest part is that they're kind of backwards from what we would normally expect them to be in math. So just remember that. And then I'm going to click residuals and residual plot. And I'm going to say, OK. And here is my residual plot here. I get a whole bunch of other information over here. So there's a, my R squared value is here, my intercept, my slope, all of the individual residuals and their predictions are also here. So there's a lot of information that comes up. But what we're interested in is this residual plot. And specifically what we're looking for is that there is no pattern in this plot. So I don't want to see like a curved line or maybe it starts out small where it stays pretty close to the axis and then it starts getting more spread out. We would call that a fan shape. Um, that would be concerning also um, in terms of a linear fit. So I really would like to see no pattern here, which is exactly what we have. Um, and so that is a good sign that a linear fit is going to be appropriate for our data.